where you wanna go, I'ma take you there, I'ma take you there. We can drive, get on the road to take the air, I'ma take you there. That sound you make when I hit, I can't wait to hear, I'ma take you there. And I'm not gonna settle for less, let's make it clear, I'ma take you there. Well, take me there. Yeah, 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 I'ma take you there. Yeah, 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 I'ma take you there. I'ma take you there, I'ma take you there. Yo, this is Willie Bean, man, Mr. I mean what I say, I say what I mean. We got the juice on the proof, no chaser. Let's get right into it. This video is based on my predictions of the max out card. Uh, you already know what's happening April 3rd, which is this Saturday coming up. So I hope y'all ready to be tuned in and entertained and ready to hear some lyrics, some bars, some creativity, all of that uh, when it comes to this new style and era of battle rap. Uh, I'm part of the TRBRC community. What we do is we measure out the bars and the lyrics of uh, the battle rappers. Uh, we're not too hyped up about performance. We feel, or I can say I feel, because uh, we all have our uh, separate opinions, but I feel like entertainment-wise and performance-wise, you should be responsible enough just to watch the battles first in that light. The first watch should be performance and entertainment to get all hyped up and get all that energy out, then the second watch should be uh, you're judging them based on the lyrical, the lyrical content. Uh, that's how I feel about it. Uh, because all the other platforms that are out here blogging and blogging on uh, these battles, I feel like they're being a little irresponsible because they're basing every battle on performance. As far as performance, there's only so much you can do. If you checked out my last video, I touched base on that. Talking about Champion and, and how they were like really going in on Cassidy just based on performance. So again, I, I just think that's you know a lot of nonsense. Of course, I like to be entertained too as well. So again, I feel the responsible thing to do. First watch, be entertained. Uh, get hyped, go crazy, get all that energy out because you're excited, you know, and then the second watch, really listen to what they're saying and then judge the battle based off what they're talking about. Because in previous battles, other battle rappers came up and said things uh, to the other battle rapper of what they said in a previous battle that didn't make any sense. So again, you got to be careful what you're talking about on stage, you know what I mean? Because that's, that's, that's why we do this. That's the major importance of of battle rap is what you're saying on stage all right so with that being said check out my other video i, I really went in on champion uh on my thoughts and the things that they were talking about and saying which i felt like was contradictive and and it was pushing a bunch of narratives i don't dislike the guys but again we got to be responsible what we're putting out there you know what i mean so let's go with the first uh stack uh off this card the first, uh, I don't necessarily know if this is the first battle, but I'm just going off my predictions on how I think the battle's going to go, all right? So, again, I don't just come out here just making videos just to get people to watch and all of that. Like I said, I really do my research, and I really pay attention to what's going on. Because everybody online, when I be commenting on Hip Hop is Real and 15 Minutes of Fame or Battle Truth, and everybody in the comments want to come at me when I'm talking about, you know, uh, facts, when it comes to Cassie or facts to any other battle rapper, they get bodied every time. Because I'm not that guy who is, you can come at thinking I don't pay attention to what's going on in the culture and when it comes to battle rap. I really put in the work. I really do the research. So it's really hard to come at me, y'all. So keep doing and try to press, push your narratives on me and, and your opinions. It's not going to work because I state facts. It's hard to get around facts when it Cause that's all I be putting out. I don't be putting out biased opinions and narratives. I go on based on facts. So keep coming at me and keep getting body. Cause I'm winning every time. Trust me. All right. So with that being said, let's get right into the predictions. Show off versus Rosenberg. Look, y'all. This battle is gonna be a fight. Just like I think and feel like every battle on this card is gonna be a fight. Uh, it's not going to be an easy win. Uh, show off. Is, he comes crazy lyrically. Um, obviously has a good performance on stage. Uh, he knows really how you know he knows how to really work the stage just as well as Rosenberg. 
uh, really crazy lyricist. He, he really has um, a good way of setups and landing his bars and his punches and all of that too as well. So, ARP, you did a great job with this card. This is a legendary card. I'm just going to say that right now before I even give my prediction uh, for this battle. ARP, salute. My guy, you 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 did this. You really did this. I, I'm excited. I can't wait uh, for all this to go down. I ain't been so excited in a long time. Uh, but the, let's get into this prediction. Uh, I'm going with show off. 2-1. Um, uh, edge of a 3-0. Um, like I said, again, it's going to be a fight. Rosenberg ain't going down easy. Uh, I know he's going to put in a fight. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going with show off uh, 2-1, 3-0. I'm leaning more towards the 2-1 because uh, I'm really expecting to for both uh, artists to really bring it to the table. So uh, I'm excited. I'm ready for this one. Um, let's get into the next one on the card. Sirius Jones versus Big K. What I want to first say is salute. To Sirius Jones for his return. Um, again, it's going to be another fight. Uh, it's not going to be a walk in the park. Uh, Big K is nobody you can just walk over. He's a crazy lyricist. He, he really brings out his punches and bars. Uh, it's somebody you just can't really just you know turn your ear over, you know turn your ear to and turn your back to. Big K is, is going to bring the business. So, uh, we already know Sirius Jones' history. Um, he's really tough to beat as well. Uh, he wins a lot of his battles. He really brings uh, uh, his bars, his lyrical creativity. Uh, he really comes out of his opponent. He really doesn't like have or show any kinds of weaknesses um, when it comes to his lyrical ability and being on stage. So, again, another fight uh, where I'm leaning at. Uh, I would say this battle can go almost either way. Uh, uh, it's it's gonna be a tough call, but if uh, I'm just gonna call it, uh, only because I feel that uh, Sirius Jones hasn't really been um, on stage in a while. I think he might be a little rusty, but like I said again. I'm not gonna give. I'm not gonna give him no, no shortcomings. Um, I'm not giving this battle. I'm gonna say it can go either way. It can go two one. Uh, Sirius Jones two one. Uh, Big K. I mean that's a, that's really a tough call because both these both these brothers give it up. Um, but I have to come up with one, right? I'm gonna lean uh, towards. Uh, Big K. I think Big K is going to edge the, the battle. Uh, his lyrical ability, his aggression, I know Sirius Jones is going to give it up, but I think Big K is really going to come in and, and do what he got to do to edge this battle and show people that he's really here to stay and he's going to give it up. All right? That's my opinion um, on this battle. Uh, stating all the facts and everything that I've researched and seeing how both these battle rappers give it up. Alright. Alright, next is Ill Will versus Awar. This is going to be one. Um, we know how Ill Will goes crazy and he gives it up. Uh, great uh, performance and uh, presence on stage. Like I say, lyrically gives it up. He's good with his punchlines. I just hope he doesn't come out like he did with Tay Rock. That's my least favorite ill will, in my opinion. Um, every other battle, he really gave it up. Uh, so, it's going to be a tough battle. Awar is kind of like, um, I won't say like an underdog, but he can be looked at as one. But, what I've been seeing and hearing from this man gonna be a dog fight for real these two dudes is gonna be going head to head um i feel like but they both gonna give it up i i feel like we we really gonna get our money's worth y'all i'm just gonna say that right off the bat for every 
battle on this card, we're getting our money's worth, hands down. So, uh, which way I'm going to lean towards, uh, it's kind of tough. I think it can go either way, in my opinion. Uh, and that's where I'm going to leave it, because I feel like both these brothers is going to give it up, and it's going to be really hard to judge. And I think we're really going to have to break down what was said to see who actually won the battle. So that's how, that's where I'm going. That's where I'm at with it. But if you really want an answer, um, I'm gonna say uh, it will two one. I'm not gonna give him a three zero because again, uh, Award is no pushover. Uh, and that's my take on it uh, as far as it will versus Award. All right. Um, All red versus Jag. <laughs> Man, uh, <sighs> a larceny family. We in here. So, with that being said, is I feel Jack's gonna win this battle. Uh, since his return, he got his feet wet. I think he knows what he's doing, how he wants to structure his rounds, and how he wants to come at all his opponents. Uh, I think he has his feel. He's ready to get in his groove and start doing damage. Um, I'm going to go Jag 2-1, a possible 3-0. It's not going to be easy, but from what I've been seeing from Ored, uh, he gives it up. Great performance and all of that, but I think that Jag has the, strong, the stronger lyrical ability. I think he's going to, you know... He's gonna take it. It's gonna be a fight, but it it's it, it it's it, it's gonna be uh, a solid win for Jag, uh, in my honest opinion. So y'all, I'm telling y'all, better get ready, man. Woo hoo! It's gonna go down. But last and not least, we got Cassie versus Hitman. <laughs> I already know it, y'all. you already acting. He said this dude be going to be biased, and he's not really going to, like, he already know that he's going to say Cassie's going to win 3-0. Um, here's the thing. This is where you guys are wrong about me. All right? Again, I'm not saying Hitman is a pushover, and he's not lyrically uh, capable, Okay? <laughs> Check out my other video. I said all I had to say about uh, Hitman. Cassidy's definitely going to win this battle. 2-1. Uh, 3-0 is going to be a fight. Uh, but it won't be a, 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 a huge clarity on the 3-0. I'm going to give Cassidy a solid 2-1. Uh, uh, he's really going to take this battle, and I really think he's going to go in. He's really going to solidify his position uh, to let everybody in this new era uh, know that he's here to handle business. He's no longer going to be taking any of these battles lightly. He don't want any more debatables. He's really going for Hitman Hollis head, and that's how I feel uh, on this one. Uh, again, I'm not blindsided by performance. I'm really paying attention to what's going on. Hitman's going to put up a fight for sure. Uh, he's really going to bring his performance out. But again, I feel like a lot of his performance that he's going to bring to the table is going to be uh, a bit a little bit much um, because he, he's going to have all that pressure. He's going to feel like he has uh, a whole lot to prove because he has the culture on his shoulders right now. All the eyes are on him for him to do exactly what he said he was going to do was to have Cassidy to never get booked again. That's what he said, right? So that's my take on my, uh, this is my prediction, my take on this max out card. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell me what you guys think and, uh, just keep right into it, man. Share, like, and subscribe, and we can keep doing this. You know what I mean? This is Willie B, man. I'm out. Y'all stay cool. All right? Peace.
On off top like the joint in the shop that braid your hair Smoke all the skunk that you want Got rents in the blunts and some haze you could blaze right here While we sip some tequila that I mix with the pink lemonade That's the wave right there And right over my shoulders You could put both your legs right there Yeah, 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 yeah It's time to get out of here I got a bag and you know it's a lot in there Fucking expense So when I pull up in the bank, girl, you should just hop in there Yeah, Anywhere you wanna go, I'm